What's up guys, this is Super Owl 88 bringing you another Black Ops commentary. This is my uh, the best game I got with the Mac 11, and I told you guys I'm going to do a uh, segment on using all the different submachine guns, telling you guys what I like about them, how, how to use them, and whatnot, and uh, it was the best game we got with this. Before I talk about the gun, I want to mention that on uh, a little bit about domination, on this map, B is in between two cars, and a lot of times I see people just running straight for it. Well, really, all you're gonna get—the only thing that's gonna happen for to you if you just jump straight on it in the beginning is just get exploded by the cars. So, a good little tip is to uh, throw your grenades over, even if no one's trying to get B, just to get the cars out of the way, because it'll make it a lot harder for the other teammate to just uh, kill you that fast. And then, um, yeah, you'll see in most, almost all of my videos playing Domination, which I'm su kind of surprised I haven't posted a full match of Domination before, because it's by far my most played game type on Black Ops, but um, yeah, I always go for B first because in my opinion, especially on a linear map like this, you really only need one guy to stay back at C, and almost my entire team all the time tries to take C, which is really unnecessary because they say that it's just to get the extra points, but it's really it's 150 points. You're gonna get a lot more points if you can capture B right away, because then you can get them in their spawn trap, which will eventually they do a lot more kills and you'll get more points for your match bonus because if you guys didn't know your match bonus is boosted for uh, winning the game anyway I want to go on to talk about the Mac now I'm using rapid fire which in my opinion is the best attachment for this gun if you're if, you're, if you've been using the Mac 11 for a while and you're not having any success with it um, and you haven't tried rapid fire uh, give it a shot it kills it makes killing people a lot easier and it's a lot it's faster and it's a uh, it's a much better deal, but with rapid fire comes the ability to run out of bullets every half of a second, pretty much. So you're going to need to run um, sleight of hand with that, because if you're not, I don't know, reloadings, you have to reload so often with this gun, and it, sleight of hand helps more than anything, more than uh, extended mags would for not having to reload. So, yep, run that. And uh, also, Scavenger is the other must-have with the Mac 11 because this thing burns through bullets as well as it does clips. So if you don't have Scavenger or Sleight of Hand, well, Scavenger, you're going to be running out of bullets and then picking up other guns. But that's normally a not a big deal to pick up other guns, I guess. But uh, in a game like this, where my main objective was to get as many kills with the Mac 11 as I could and talk about it, uh, yep, I wanted to run Scavenger, so if you guys want to get all your kills with the Mac 11 or don't like picking up other guns because you don't want to, like, try to pick up another guy's gun, you find him just running around with a ballistic knife, yep, run Scavenger. It's, uh, probably the best perk setup or whatever. Anyway, I want to go on to talk a little bit about my, uh, video quality. I've been getting a few comments saying that, um, they didn't like the quality and that they think I should add game sound. I could add game sound, but my capture card is obnoxious. I, I use an easy cap which is pretty horrible if compared to the other capture cards out on the market and the quality is horrendous like there's this weird like buzzing noise the entire time in the background it's actually louder than the actual game sound itself and nothing sounds good with it so that's why I, j I just turn all audio off so just commentary is the only thing and um, the video quality itself is pretty bad. However, I think possibly for Christmas I might be getting an HD PVR, which would be really nice because then I'll be uploading videos in HD and I'll be getting game sound on. So I don't know if you guys uh, like that. Let me know because I mean, why wouldn't you guys like me play, uh, uploading in HD? Also, if I do not get it for Christmas, which I'm not positive I will be, once again, if you guys saw my first video, I will go out and I'm gonna go out and buy one at 50 subscribers so if you guys want to you can go uh, I don't know post something about my name or like try to help me get known because I know right now I have 14 subscribers which is actually really great I think at the beginning of my previous video I had like 10 and then I left it up for like three days because I wasn't able to post I don't know I didn't have any time to any time to upload or do commentaries in the last th two or three days which is kind of a bummer I know but um I'm doing one now, and what was I just saying about that? Hold on. Da. Oh yeah, anyway, I picked up, uh, I think, like, five, four subscribers or something from one video, which is awesome, because I did not expecting that, especially when I left it alone for a while, because, like, normally when I post up a uh, 
commentary right now. I'm kind of like going on some of the bigger people's um, bigger people's channels, like videos, and like posting something like, "Hey, check out my videos." I mean, not to be like obnoxious or just like try to get subs, just because like I don't know. I feel like I'm doing somewhat of a decent job here, and I would like some other people to check it out. I mean, you don't have to. Obviously, if you see that comment in a comment box, you don't have to click on it. You could just uh, you don't even have to like mention it. You can just pass by it, but. I know a few people have checked out my videos because I have done that, and a few of you have even subscribed, so, uh, yeah, I mean, if people have the same mi mindset of you guys that subscribe from that, then, um, yeah, I'll pick up some subs that way. This is, um, probably, like, the biggest tear I go on with the Mac 11 here. I actually get my chopper gunner, and in my first video, I mentioned that you should always wait to call in your chopper gunners when you have a Blackbird up, but... I apparently failed to do that myself here. I'll get a little excited, but either way, it's still it's not as big of a waste as it would be in free for all because my teammates can still take use of that blackbird. However, I probably should have waited to call in my chopper gunner. I think I think I was someone else on my team was mentioning that they had a helicopter or something, and I didn't. I wanted to be the one to call it in instead of waiting around to call it in. Because if you guys have ever just like. I don't know, you're on a kill streak, nine kill streak or something, and you haven't died in a while, and you, your teammates, or the, well, yeah, the enemy teammates might even kill you, but if your own teammate has, like, an attack helicopter up, and the other teammates are not shooting down your support, it gets pretty annoying waiting for those things to get shot down, because, I don't know, you're just sitting around, like, waiting to call in your air support, and you don't want to die, because you're on a nine kill streak, and you have dogs coming up or something. No, it's pretty obnoxious to not be able to call your stuff in. Anyway, what else was I going to talk about Mac 11? Oh yeah, so, really you want to stay completely close quarters all the time, like you would think all some machine guns would need, but I mean, if you guys played Mount Warfare 2, you obviously know that the UMP was known for its ability to get long range kills, and yeah, pretty much you just two shot, two, three shots across the map with a UMP silenced, which is kind of ridiculous. In this game, the submachine guns act a lot more reasonably as to if you see someone like medium range to long range, you can't always get the kill. I mean, it's not like the shotguns where like you can't go for long range kills, but like I don't know. I'd recommend like a map like this. You don't really want to do anything more than the short way across this map, like just across the street. That's pretty much pretty much about like the longest gunfights you want to find yourself getting into with the Mac 11 here. I know some of the other ones. Some of, some of the other submachine guns, like the MP5K, have been able to pop shot people pretty far away with that. But that is not the case for this weapon. You want to stay strictly close quarters where your rapid fire attachment will get you most of your kills. Anyway, we have them spawn trapped at A almost the entire game this game, which was uh, leads me to get the score I get. I think I go uh, 50 and 13, which isn't the best score, but for the Mac 11, in my opinion, that's a pretty good score. Anyway, I this is my first this is my my longest commentary by far. I think my other longest one was like five minutes. This one's gonna be like nine minutes long, which is pretty cool. Getting longer ones. And this is like I said earlier, my most played game type in this game. I didn't like domination so much towards the end of Modern Warfare 2 just because noob tubing was ridiculous and they could just like put noob tubes on a flag the entire match, making it uncapable. But that's not the case for this game. I find myself being able to and get on flags as groups, like, with groups, and, like, uh, cap flags without being noob-tubed constantly in this game, which is a lot more fun. That led to me loving Demolition more in Modern Warfare 2, but I don't like Demolition so much in this game mode, but if you guys want to see some Demolition, let me know. Final score is 15-13, like I said earlier. If you like this, leave a comment, rate, or subscribe. Peace.